back, Jeff Hagee Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me again. So in other episodes, you've heard Tammy Matheny, the author of Confident Athlete, discuss different topics with me. What I wanna to discuss today, I gave her the scenario of having a star athlete, having a poor performance, and how you kind of deal with that. Because I think it's very applicable, of course, in athletics, and her and I were talking basketball, but it's the same thing, whether it's athletics, whether it's business, you know, what do you do when your star salesman is in a slump? So I want you to listen to this conversation that Tammy and I had and take some ideas from it and see how it can be applied to your team, to your business, whatever it is. And we'll go from there, but listen to this and I'll be right back. Well, you know, hopefully I've built the foundation before that situation happens. And what I like to teach athletes and teams is the using the visualization piece imagine you have missed five in a row and how are you going to handle that next shot and i believe the more you stay in the moment the more successful you can be um people like to debate this with me but it's almost impossible to have a negative emotion in the present moment all of our frustrations anxiety lack of confidence frustrations come from something that happened in the past, even if it was just the last shot, or thinking ahead too far to the future and creating anxiety or what will happen. So one of the things I like to do is give exercises of teaching them how to stay in the moment. Um, or how do we move a mistake ritual or a, mis a reset button? Um, different athletes like to call it different things, but as soon as I make that mistake and I'm getting negative, What's my reset button? All right, now get to the present moment. Um, favorite acronym, I stole this. I wish I knew who I could give credit to, but is WIN. We all like to WIN, W-I-N, um, but what's important now? And, and so oh, just really? ask, what's important now? And you know, if, if I'm thinking what's important now, that missed shot isn't gonna affect me because I'm too busy thinking, you can't have two thoughts at one time. So I'm too busy thinking, what am I gonna do now? Um, so, you know, I, I think it's good when I can share experiences that I've had as an athlete, because I've tried all of this and all of my, whatever I do and, and sharing that and I have failed and I've had successes and I can see the importance of it. Um, I, I was in a basketball game for a championship one time. I was known as a shooter, not a great defender by any means. And I had missed, I think I was like 0 for 11. And if I had not started to work on my mindset, I have no doubt I would have been useless for that game. But I used all of this that I teach and it was focused on what's important next. And it was probably the best defensive game I've ever played. And the game was tied, I don't know, a few seconds left and I got fouled. And for a second, I started thinking, oh gosh, what if you miss? You've missed every shot you've taken. And I don't know. You know, this is an opportunity to forget about all that other stuff that happened. And I just kind of went through my normal foul shot routine, felt confident. Um, I had visualized that shot hundreds of times in my head. You know, I would go to bed every night, imagining hitting the game winner. And so it felt comfortable, boom, I hit, you know. And, and I like to tell that story, not, not to brag about myself or boast about myself, but how I, I get it. You know, athletes are like, you don't understand. I, I'm oh for whatever. No, I get it. I've been there. And I can tell you the importance if you keep your brain alive mentally, something good can happen. I love that. That's one thing I do with my team is when they have something that's frustrating to them, whether it's missing shots or whatever it is, something that they can say next and i had some last year that i'd actually have them you know like touch their left shoulder or something my daughter used to she had next written on the toe of her shoe and she could just look at that and you know that kind of clued her so i, I love that so. all right thanks tammy i appreciate that i love that concept of win and how applicable it is to any team or any player whether it's an athlete whether it's a sales team whether it's a salesman whether it's anyone in your organization. So make sure you take these things and apply them to what is gonna be applicable to you. But make sure to look for Tammy, find her 
book, Confident Athlete, on Amazon, and I'll put her link in the show notes as well. But also, please visit me at jeffhagey.com. I'd love for you to check out my Momentum series. It's a free series to help you get some of these things, set up your goals, get clarity on your goals, figure out your why, and figure out how to achieve those goals and be successful. Thanks, and I will be with you again tomorrow.